Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Aura Health, the maker of smart wearables, oh, a smart wearable ring, inking a deal with the NBA for players and staff in the league to wear its device, which can track potential symptoms of coronavirus. Uh, Join us right now is the CEO of Harpeet, uh, of, of Aura, Harpeet Rai. Uh, good morning to you. I wanted, you know, a lot of viewers have seen it over the years uh, or the, the past year. Uh, Joe gives me a hard time about it. I wear this ring and I actually get lots of people asking about what it is. Uh, this is your ring. It's an aura ring. It tracks uh, how you're doing. By the way, I, I did okay last night. I got a 92 uh, and a 87 is my on wow. my data. But the more important part about all this is I've been also part of a study, which you've been uh, part of, which is tracking whether the ring can figure out whether you're going to get COVID. And because of that study, you have now inked a deal with the NBA. Tell us about the deal. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me on the show. Really appreciate it, Andrew. And that, that's, that's a better score than me this morning. Um, so, yeah, we, you know, because of our research that we're doing with UCSF, um, you know, I think the, the NBA and, you know, other sports leagues and businesses are trying to figure out how to reopen. And, um, you know, one of the interesting things that we, we can see on our ring is temperature that other wearables don't have, along with respiratory rate, heart rate, heart rate variability. And so as the NBA, you know, was trying to figure out how to get back to work, um, they felt like giving, you know, the players and staff an added level of protection and, and frankly, peace of mind using Aura was, was a good idea. So how predictive is it? I, by the way, I take the survey every morning. They ask me how I'm feeling and all of the things um, as part of the, the, the study that I, I think I, any, any Aura user, uh, I, you just asked anyone who was, who was on the app to do it. What is the what what is the uh, predictive nature of it? Yeah, um, you know the, the research studies are still ongoing, so they're not final. Um, one of our other research partners, you know, West Virginia University, did come out and and did publicly say that they can see symptoms up to three days in advance. And and frankly, that's actually sort of how this started was with our users. Um, you know, every flu season, we've had thousands of users email us, you know, take screenshots. Um, and, and many of them saying that, you know, wow, my readiness score, you know, unlike your score of 90 this morning or whatever it was, Andrew, that, wow, my, my readiness score yep. all of a sudden is in the 50s or 60s. And, um, you know, and they're like, we, but I don't feel that bad. And then two or three days later, you know, something will hit them pretty hard. And um, that, that's actually what happened here as well. You know, there was one user of ours in Finland. He was traveling in, in early March. And then, you know, normally gets 80s or 90s, and uh, all of a sudden his readiness score dropped to 50. And then that caused him to go get tested. Um, He was positive for, you know, for coronavirus. And and frankly, at the same time, we were talking to UCSF, and, you know, that that post was public by that user in Finland. Um, And and that's actually, you know, what we've heard and seen from our users in the app today. Right. So the NBA is going to be buying how many of these rings? Yeah, it's, it's a really good question. It's, it's actually available for everyone that's going to be at Orlando. Um, you know, frankly, I don't even know the final amount, but I know it's over 2,000. Um, you know, all players, all staff, and, and even other people in, in, inside the bubble, as they're referring to it, um, are, are going to have the aura rings available to them. And, you hey. know, I think – sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, Harford, I, I, you got to work with me on this. I don't, I don't have one. This is Joe, and I, this may be a naive question, but – I remember the days of, of biofeedback, and it was a very hot area. Can, can, could I make myself less – if I had a, a, a real-time feedback on how I'm feeling at times, can I actually modulate my anxiety levels and, and my, my mental well-being with this? I, I, this may be a naive question, but I, I don't – like, I, I don't – Andrew, do you ever do that? You need to modulate some of you – know, when you're feeling anxious or stressful. Is it possible in real time? You know what, to do- to do I that find, heart rate? Yeah, no, for me, it's, for me, it's a nudge about sleep. If I, can, if right. I see that over the past week my, my scores are going down, I do. It, it is a nudge. I decide That's I'm going to sleep early just because I about, know not only am I feeling time? terrible, but it's, it's in my face. real time, you can control your heartbeat, supposedly, if you have real time data and do certain things. Is that you haven't been able to do that? Harpreet, can I do, um, can I do not, that? Not yes. no, it's, a, it's a great question. Um, we actually do have a meditation mode in the app where you can do a meditation session and look at your heart rate and heart rate variability after that session. Um, and, you know, some of our users have been using that to practice, you know, frankly, practice meditating and get better at controlling their anxiety. But, but I actually think, Andrew, you know, 
I give them a little bit more credit than you are. Um, you know, the way our, most of our users use the app today is they wake up in the morning and they check their scores. And frankly, you know, not every day for Andrew or myself is going to be a 90. And then on the days those scores are lower, you know, you know, you have a little, you know, a little peace of mind, a little, a little reminder that, hey, I'm, I'm a little bit behind eight ball today.